Ready, guys. So, uh, got a package in the post uh, the other day, and uh, quite um, excited to open it up. So, I've already torn the box apart, as you can see there. And uh, as you guys noticed at the beginning, any of you guys recognize that name, Farrett, other than it being a uh, <laughs> one of those funny sort of words, you know, for a, uh, for a transformer, anyway. So, we've got a, um, a neon sign transformer here, for those who don't know, and uh, it's a 10 kV, 100 milliamp. Neon sign transformer. So it's a, it's a bit of a big transformer, as you can see by the the box it was in. So um, I won't show it you just yet. Uh, I've got it from uh, the guys at signbuyer.co.uk. So I've got their that's their website there. So uh, they're pretty cool. They uh, they supply brand new neon sign transformers. I'm planning on using this for a Tesla coil uh, at some point in the not too distant future. So it'll have a pretty powerful Tesla coil using this neon sign transformer and whatnot. So these guys uh, supply these and uh, other ones they do, second-hand ones, new ones, they do all sorts. They've got them all on their website here. So I'll drop a, uh, a link on the uh, on the description for you guys just to have a little browse around there, guys. And uh, yeah, so I'll show it to you now anyway, guys. So it's a, I warn you, it's a, not exactly for the faint-hearted. It's a pretty big, pretty big transformer compared to the other one over there. It's a bit of a, uh, I don't know what you would call it, the, uh, the Optimus Prime of uh, Transformers. Yeah, the Neon Sign Transformers anyway, so it's it's huge compared to the little 50. That's a 10 kV 50 milliamp there, and that's a 10 kV 100 milliamp there, and believe you me, it's more than twice the weight. That's freaking, that's heavy. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll uh, just show you the, uh, the spec plate there. So we've got a Resinbot 2000 input at 240 volts, 4.6 amps, yeah, 50 hertz. Output uh, plus and minus 5 kV with a center tap earth. So we've got 10 kV there and at 100 milliamps with 130 short circuit peak. So yeah, pretty cool. And uh, we'll compare that to the other one here. This will be a, compar a comparison video between the two types of transformer here. So we've got another 10 kV, uh, 50 milliamp. So it's uh, with a center tap of uh, 65 milliamp short circuit peak, and we've got 240 volts, uh, 2.4 amps in. So yeah, pretty cool. And as you can see, I've got them hooked up to uh, Jacob's ladders. You guys might recognize that Jacob's ladder if it focuses from a previous video. It's the uh, the wobbler, the one that tends to wobble. A little bit too much so uh, I've actually improved on that I've actually um, got some aluminium bar this uh, aluminium six mil diameter bar and took it to work and Fred Fred put that in the pipe bender for me and just bent those up into a really really nice Jacobs ladder see that so yeah not exactly anywhere near as wobbly as that a lot more firmer so pretty cool and there we go, we've got a little Gabriel electrode there, or a helper electrode, depending on what you want to call it. That's 100 mega ohms, and that's enough to uh, trigger it off. That's pretty pretty handy. And uh, you might, you guys might recognize that as my old universal spark gap down there, which I originally designed for ZVS um, type purposes, but I haven't got around to too many ZVS projects recently, so I've adapted it into the uh, the base stand for the, for the big Jacobs ladder. So yeah, pretty cool. Is it comparison to the little, the little spark gap over there? So yeah, pretty cool. And uh, we'll do a test uh, on it now. Anyway, guys, so I've got a um, couple of meters hooked up. That one will be measuring the uh, five kV on the one side of the transformer. We can swap to the other one halfway through. So I'll put that into volts AC, and this will be measuring kilovolts when it's going. Uh, we've got input amps there. That's measuring both transformers AC current. I'll move this box out of the way so you don't want any fire hazards. Put that there. Then we've got input volts into the uh, into the transformers from the variac here. Line filter, just just because we're running high voltage, it's quite handy just to have. And uh, yeah, just put that down out of the way. Right, variac on. There we go, we've got a minimum voltage. Safe block, safe block, close it down. Right, danger now. Uh, that is ready to go. Do not walk over there. And now we got, that's it, 11 o'clock. 
Right, so we'll switch on and crank the voltage up. You can hear it buzzing. Just about to go, 160, 80, 190, 200, 220, 230, 240. Right, the other one doesn't seem to be going at the moment. Not be a reason for that. Let's crank it down. The connections are all pretty good. Make sure the air's in. Might be the uh, spacing track again. All right, let's go. Quite. Just to adjust the spacing here. Okay. Safe lock down. All the way down. Going on. There we go. That will rise eventually. There you go. Both running. I just dip the lights. When that goes up, it decides to go up. It'll be a comparison. There you go, guys. Pretty cool. There you go, the other one's off now. So you can see the difference in power there and the fact that the other one's wobbling all over the place now. So, yeah, the spark gaps are well, the Jacob's ladders are working pretty nicely, as with the transformers. The huge power difference in that one hums and the other buzzes. <laughs> so, yeah, pretty cool. We've got the Keep it also just take it down a bit. Should get to about 5 kV on that one before it goes. 3, 4, 5. There you go, 5 kV before that triggers off. That's quite that's quite well set that one is. You see it there with the Gabriel electrodes sign them off. Pretty cool. So I'll swap the, uh, just turn that down a second. I'll swap the probe over to the other side. Just measure the other side of the transformer. Over there. Come back on. So the two of them are drawing about eight, seven or eight amps there, about eight amps. Averaging. So yeah, looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. Got about, should be about 5 kV on that side. There you go. Before it triggers. So yeah, guys. Looking pretty cool. That's just a... Uh, comparison video really between these two different transformers and also the uh, the two different uh, Jacob ladders so yeah pretty cool there's a wobbler wobbling away there it does actually have a funny effect where it bounces together at the top and starts doing the strange clapping thing that holds the arc at the top there <laughs> I have got footage of that I'll have to find it I might start doing it I don't know it looks like it's nearly about to do it Yeah, looking pretty cool. That's holding an arc at the top there.
Alrighty guys, so uh, I'll turn these off now anyways, I'm making a fair amount of buzzing. There we go. Open the safe box, safety first. Power down. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that. I'll leave the link to Sign Buyer's website in the uh, description if you guys want to go over there because they do do second hand ones as well as uh, brand new ones depending on what kind of stuff you want to be using it for and whatnot. So uh, yeah pretty cool and uh hope you guys enjoyed see you again soon cheers